Mr. Secretary General of the ITU, other senior officers of the ITU, Mr. President, Presiding Officer of the Conference, ladies and gentlemen, our delegation brings you, brings you greetings from the President and people of Liberia and take this time to congratulate the President and people of the Republic of Romania on this unique occasion and wonderful display of hard work in hosting the 2022 Plenipotentiary Conference. We also take this time to allow the efforts of His Excellency, the Secretary General of ITU, Ziao, in amalgamating RCT leaders, researchers, academicians, practitioners, technicians, and others in one environment to discuss issues relevant to building a better digital future for all. This is without any uncertainty very laudable. Liberia's ICT sector is playing a critical role in accelerating the transformation of our country's economic status from one of poverty into a middle class nation. The government has been focused on the implementation outcome of the World Summit on the information society at national level. At the same time, working towards and achieving all internationally agreed development goals, including Vision 2030. As part of this effort, Liberia gives, the due, Liberia gives due regards to the road of ICT and a pledge to the ICT sector is best underscored by the commitment demonstrated through the report it provides to the sector. Liberia has also recognized the ICT sector as an enabler of social and economic development, thereby prompting the use, the need to update the 2010 policy to make it relevant to the current exigencies of the state and in support of ICT objectives of the proposed agenda for prosperity and development. In this respect, the 2019 to 20, 2024 ICD policy was adopted by the cabinet to update the 2010 policy which draws an emerging trend in the ICD sector, particularly the rise of convergent technology, digital broadcasting, e-services, new technologies, and provision of universal access to boost social inclusion. Additionally, the government of Liberia, being cognizant of the need to provide the necessary ICT infrastructure, have made investment in ensuring large mass connectivity. Connect, the connection to the African coast to Europe submarine optical fiber cable for broadband connectivity is evidence of this. Currently, a private company, C Squared, a wholesale infrastructure provider with 180 kilometers of metro fiber around our capital city is providing services to all MNOs and ISPs. The government of Liberia has planned to build over 350 kilometers of fiber backbone from Monrovia to the border of Guinea and the Coast. Liberia is also working with the economic, economic community of West African states on the Amaka Cabra sub summary cable project broadband development within the territories of concerned country, the Gambia, Guinea, Bissau, Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. Coincidentally, the same named countries have all, all have only one cable landing station connected them to the AI cable, kept, uh, summer rate cable. The proposed America back cable include a main trunk which will run from Paris to Cape Verde to Monrovia in Liberia with three branch, branch, brand, branding units to Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, and Sierra Leone, and two, sub, st and two stop for fisher expansion to the north and south, respectively. Those efforts are being made to ensure that large mass connectivity is provided to the consumers and provide such needed and guaranteed redundancy in international connectivity for our country. Your Excellencies, the era of technology is here and it cannot be ignored. The development of every country is now linked to how much 
the country consumer consumed RCT. The Ministry of Post and Telecommunications has a responsibility to develop policies and standards that will guard the sector. In light of this, I am pleased to inform this body that the government of Liberia has begun identifying innovative ways to utilize the, the bandwidth provided by ICE optical fiber cable for the integration of ICTs in all sectors to accelerate the realization of a modern Liberia that will be a knowledge-based economy. Our Cybercrime Act of 2021 is currently at the Senate and the House of Representatives of the Republic of Liberia to be enacted into law. The Cybercrime Act seeks to provide for the prohibition, prevention, detection, and response and prosecution of cybercrime in Liberia. Not only that, the data protection is also in process to be submitted to the executive for onward submission to the national legislature for enactment into law. The data protection law, when enacted, will provide a legal framework of protection for privacy of data relating to collection, processing, transmission, storage, and use of personal data without prejudice to the general interests of the state. However, there remain financial difficulties that are associated with what we do in the ICD sector. Liberia remains committed to enhance the, the, the diffusion of ICT in all areas to deliver efficient public service to all customers of the public sector. Our government understands the use of ICT for <coughs> sustainable development and, and growth cannot be overemphasized. This is why the government continues to put in place measures that will ensure that will ensure all of its goals are met. For example, the government has approved a program called School Connect, which is intended to provide internet services to our school around the country. In addition, many universities are developing programs that incorporate techno technological advances and trends. Finally, Your Excellency. The government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Post and Telecommunication, shall continue to embark on policy reforms, place emphasis on public-private sector partnership as part of the overall government plan. I am convinced that with the spirit of partnership in the sector, achieving our ICT goals as a country will be a success. I cannot overemphasize the role of ICT has played and continue to play in Liberia path to development. Sectors such as finance, health, education, agriculture, and the government have embraced technology for management of information, enhancement of service delivery to reach the public more effectively and efficiently and at an affordable price. Most, most importantly, Your Excellency, as you are aware, the government of Liberia began its universal asset program a few years ago. Let me inform you of steady progress but with huge financial challenges. The government received some funding from multilateral partners a few years back and has begun the implementation of the program. Pilot projects were successful and actual implementation is ongoing. However, this is expected to be a just a drop of water in the desert of no connection. We therefore urge the ITU to invest more in the area of universal access if more is to be done for rural inhabitants in a broader, broader connectivity for all. The need across the landscape of Liberia is very much real, and there is no other way to put it but to describe it as such. Let me end by reminding you of Liberia on wavering commitment towards the setting RTC as an able towards serving sustainable development goal. Thank you.